Hey, uh, welcome back. This is Disco Elysium. Uh, we're looking for a, uh, a freezer of some sorts as I come over here. Help Suna with her project. You know what that means. We're going to help Suna with her project. Big shitty day for me. Um, so we got to go find the frozen ice cream maker mentioned in the note. I'd assume that's going to be kind of in the same area of where the big polar bear fridge is, but we'll find that out. Is this close? Okay, cool. Okay, we're just gonna completely bypass you. Don't wanna talk to you, bye, see you later. I'm gonna go down to the basement, do my own thing. Let's get a flashlight out, remember it being a hell of dark. There we go. Ah, shit, I don't remember how to get to the basement, so we're just gonna wing it. I think it's over here. Um, is it either the basement or up where the dice maker's at? Up where the dice maker's at. Hmm. Interesting. My favorite part of this game is that I'm on streamer mode and I'm still getting copyright stricken for music. This game is fantastic. Looks like someone tried to reconceptualize their business here. I'm gonna discard the thought. I'm doing more important shit right now. Ooh. Oh, yeah, this way. Right? Or is this the way I came in? Hmm. I am very stupid. There's an alternate entrance. Let's use the alternate entrance. I really thought I was going to be, like, super genius here and lead us back down to where we're supposed to go. I'm just wasting time. I wasted a whole minute. Burned a whole minute off the clock. That's right. This game's confusing. People that have played it before watching this are just ripping their hair out waiting for me to do something, like, not stupid. Well, you're going to continue waiting because uh, this Let's Play is all me doing something stupid. Okay, cool. Hello? This is it. I remember this. This orange machine is buzzing like an old submarine. It has a hand-cranked ice cream churner on top and an electric freezer that appears to be frozen shut. Let's try and turn the ice cream crank. Turning the crank feels oddly satisfying, like stirring your childhood dreams. In the distance, you hear water dripping. Mm, what's this? Money. And Nosefed. Alright, can we still unplug stuff? I vividly remember unplugging things, so I wonder if this is another thing we can unplug. Let's not yell back up there. Okay. There's nothing in the fridge except for that note. Hmm. This is basically just me trying to remember stuff I did a long time ago. Only the black cable is plugged into the breaker box. Something close to you dies with a soft electric purr. Think I found it. Very smart. Opening the lid should be much easier after the ice cream maker has defrosted. Uh, you bet. This orange machine is dead still. It has a hand crank ice cream churner and an electric freezer. The ice around it slowly melting. Do we just really need to wait? This orange machine is dead still. It has a hand crank. So we gotta wait for this thing to melt. Ah, got it. That's nice. It's very nice. Get the ice cream maker open. Find the right tool or ask Suna for help. Solve the egghead puzzle. Eh, whatever. There has to be some way to talk to this person. You just haven't found it yet. It's definitely not about signs. What if you just try again? Find your way out of this maze of things to say. Let's go solve the egghead puzzle because I, I'm going to see if uh, waiting real lifetime will get the ice to melt. That'd be like the smart thing to do, you know? All right. How do I fast travel? Map. Let's go to the church. Come on. There it is. 
perfect. 8.30, it's never too late. We can start up, uh, we can start up missions at any time of the night. All right, let's go talk to Egghead. Let's solve his puzzle. You're Egghead, right? The young man with the tape recorder acknowledges your return. When he looks at you, he squints as though you were the setting sun. This is hardcore. I'm gonna say nothing. Hardcore. Still say nothing. Hardcore to the mega. Say nothing. Internally coherent. I'm gonna say nothing. All core. All right. Yeah. How long can I continue not saying anything? Say nothing. He furrows his brow as his very large head traces the sublime, invisible movement of the music in the very real air of the stuffy tent. Oh, brilliant, brilliant. Hardcore! Ah! So hardcore! Is it, though? Uh, he stops dead in his tracks, tilting his head to its side. It is! What is it? I mean, really? I was thinking that, too! I am the mic enforcer. I am the chick's checker. Yeah! Yeah, boy, boy. Nice. Back to the heavyweight jam. Hardcore! Say nothing. Hardcore! But is it? I mean, really? Yeah! There we go. This young man adds a capital G before the H in his yeggs and args. This produces a guttural gutvaldian. Or maybe it's not gutvaldian. Maybe it's Oranese, probably an homage to Oranier, where Arno van Eyck is from. Is Judging it? by his name, Ooh. could you be listening to an Arno van Eyck creation right now? So this is the famous van Eyck I'm hearing. You know about him? Ooh, I peaked his, I peaked Egghead. He's interested. You know van Eyck? Yeah, I'm a major Egghead. Wow. The skinny wraith looks at you. With some disbelief. They didn't even know. They don't even know that I fuck with Ake, alright? So am I. So am I. Begins to shake his head so everyone would understand. Oh. Is that why they call you Egghead? Because. Egghead! Egghead to the mega. The K became the G. The boy became the man. You guys don't even. You guys don't even know. You guys are disrespecting your friend the whole time. Calling him Egghead the whole time. Going, Egghead, Egghead. The advent? Big clothes. True, hard, full, hardcore. Hardcore to the mega. Oh, right. Here comes the night. Okay, that didn't crack it either. Big clothes. True, hard, full, hardcore, hardcore, internally coherent. I was wondering if you know who killed the missionary behind the Whirling and Rags hostel. Good morning, yeah. One, two, three. Yoko Kata, the place to be. Uh, why is this Yoko Kata the place to be? Does that, what does that mean? Yekko is a hardcore place. Yekko is an abbreviation from the Gradian term, Zone of Ecological Catastrophe. Sick. An agricultural mega project in the extreme southeast of the Gradian Isola. It involved cutting edge approaches to irrigation and a completely new type of fertilizer. Mm hmm, okay. An intricate system of irrigation networks pockmarking the earth. Intermittent seas of phosphorus mud, ripped tarpauling, fluttering in the wind. Got it. A pair of molten rubber boots also comes to mind. All in all, a truly hardcore place. Let's just go back in. Let's go back in. Let's try to get through to Egghead. The clothes. True. Hard, hardcore, uh, I was wondering if you knew who killed the man behind the Good rolling around his house. Okay, one, I'm beginning two, to think this really doesn't have anything to do with the case. It's the message, so listen and you will see. No illusion. Just Got it, okay. The clothes, true. Hard, internally, all car. Please tell me exactly what are you doing. You gotta get the people going. Ah, why? I'm the party boy. It's my job. I think I'm also a party boy. Two on a track. Watch your back. Watch out for the heart attack. Mm, okay. Let's open up some new dialogue. Uh, uh. I see. That wasn't the right answer. I just gotta keep talking to him, don't I? Why? Ooh, what is a party boy? What is a party boy? Got it, egghead. There is a place far away in Cutler. 
beyond a certain latitude known as winter's orbit, where there are 25 hours in a day. It is a tremendously cold place, abandoned to drunks and failed rock stars, full okay. of etonite, depression, and half-finished ski-flying hills. The Suru live there. Uh, 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 let's end it. Okay. That wasn't it either. Internally all he furrows his brow as his very large head traces the sublime invisible movement of the music in the very real air of the stuffy tent. Hardcore! Ah! Uh, no, but seriously, I'm a little worried that it isn't. The question is, what is the question? That would have been good if I'd asked. Oh, now how about just answer the question? But there was no question. Oh, I failed. Okay, let's go for it again. In all car, all gotta get the people. Oh, yep. I, I went through the wrong path again. In all car. He furrows. Okay. The question is, what is how about, the question? That would have been good if I had asked you a question, but I didn't. I was just idiotic. But there was a question? There exists... It's just, it, there exists a question in the absence of a question. Write that down. Take notes. He furrows. So hardcore. I was just thinking that a moment ago. I think. Oh, man. I've exercised just about all I can. But seriously, I'm a bit worried it isn't. The question is, what is the question? That was. No, but seriously, I'm a bit. Did I miss that? So me randomly pressing buttons and skipping through the dialogue, I got it. Uh, let's see. I said, so hardcore, Egghead replied with, is it though? And then I replied back with, it is. But is it, I mean, really? And I say, the question is, what is the question? Egghead responds with, no, but seriously, I'm a bit worried it isn't. Don't be alone. Everything is okay. Mm. He isn't actually worried. Everything is still super hardcore. What he probably means is, it could be even more so. You said you were worried. What, what do you think is wrong about the music? Or what do you think is wrong with the music? There's nothing wrong with it. I'm still in love with the hardcore. He turns pensive all of a sudden. Sometimes I just feel like anodic music is in its infancy, you know? For example, take this Arno van Eyck jam I've been pumping for the last months. And we'll continue pumping for the rest of 51. Isn't something holding it back from being hyper? It's like it's only ultra. I think it's super hardcore, but you're right. It's not hyper hardcore. If anything, it sounds a bit proto. Like it's not fully formed yet. You might be a moribund alcoholic and a failed cop, but you are pretty certain a thing cannot be both proto and Hardcore. It's proto, not hardcore at all. Wow! Culture cop! I think you might be right. But how could it become hardcore then? Red pill. I know it in my heart, but cannot think it in my head. If this is not hardcore, how could anything be? Um, I don't know. Try to think if anything can make it harder core. What? Guys, there's something happening in his head. Think even harder. Oh, I'm thinking so hard. But you're not. This is almost certainly a matter that surpasses the limits of reason. My imagination fails me. I know. So does mine. But there's something else that hasn't failed you. Sounds suspiciously like a question. I thought the question was, what is the question? No. This is the answer. I can't help you with this right now. I need something else extra. Wait, I just remembered something. I'm the police. Uh-huh. Actually, it's more likely to hinder us. Oh. I, I can't... Hmm. Uh-huh. Nothing. Me being the police isn't going to help oh. us. Yeah, okay. I can't help you with this right now. I need something else. Something extra. Yeah! Why are there lungs on your belt buckle? Lungs are for love! Why would lungs be for love? innocent her lungs started glowing through her body for the world loved her and she loved it back yeah 
Why wouldn't they be? Are the lungs not the place where you hold the breath of your soul? Really? I think so. Thank you for the story. Well, 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 lung, well the lungs are where you hold your, the, the breath of your soul, aren't they? Highly gaily. So, are you a thought reader? No nation, but trans nation. No war, but class war. Does that mean you're a thought reader? Don't be a lunatic. Of course he isn't. Oh my gosh. Mainly I just yells random things. Cause I'm the noise. Sooner or later one of them will come off as fault reading. Got it. Yeah! Imperative. I wish I had uh Akehead's uh spirit. Unless you were thinking Revershaw Imperative right now. Anyway, I've had a similar thing happen with eggs yelling. I know what you mean. But I was thinking Revershaw Imperative. That's fucked up, man. Lying like that, and a cop too. So you're not a thought reader, you're a communist. He's not a communist. Oh, it's just something he likes thankful. to yell. He picked it up from a tape jockey at the Palisseum. She was a communist, though. Yeah! With a rebel yell! It's good you're not a communist anyway. You should be an ultra-liberal. How about a hyper-liberal? I can be an ultra. If you want that, do you want me to be an ultra? Please don't turn him into an ultra-liberal. Oh, jeez. Please don't do that. There's enough exploitation in the world. <laughs> don't be an... Wait, what am I saying? Of course. No, no, don't be an ultra-liberal. Let me pause. Don't be an ultra-liberal. That path is too hardcore. Aye. Okay. Uh, best not to be a communist. Having extreme views on issues is detrimental to understanding all sides. Oh, sure. I can do that. If you want that... I can avoid taking a stand. Please don't turn him into a moralist. I don't even know what to say to that. Be a moralist, Egghead. The balance needs your help. Ah! Boom. Tell me something else, Egghead. It's time to compromise. Obviously, one shouldn't get too hasty with their decision making. I'm swiftly moving toward a solution which pleases nobody. Is your real name Jermaine? He agrees. Um, basically, yes, it is. Okay. Um, maybe your body can tell you what Arno van Eyck's jam is missing to make it harder core. Let's play. All right, goodbye, Egghead. See if I can increase my physical instrument with my clothes. Reaction, rhetoric, suggestion, physical. Okay, that's increasing it. Jeez, I am just weak, aren't I? All brain, no brawn. Yeah, the tie makes me worse. I should I should wear the tie. Paint threshold going up. Bangers don't cry. Respect. Let's do it, twenty eight percent. Let's do it. You know it in your lungs where the pressure should vibrate. In your heart that's alone. And in your solar plexus where the hits should land. So does every core day animal. I don't have a webcam on, but I recoiled so hard in my chair, could not believe I just nailed that. Um, the response is, as you can see, it needs more bass. And that should be like, I don't know, there's a barometer, and then I think needs more bass is neutral territory. No matter what somebody asks you about your needs more bass, it's an acoustic country jam, bass. Metallica is a justice for all, bass. Needs more bass. And a melody, a good melody is what makes the song really stick so that you can't get it out of your head anymore. Wow, okay. We should stop with the melody. But where would we get that stuff from? I don't know. I was thinking you would know. I'm sorry. I don't know anything about anodic music. I'm just the party boy. I get the people going and say it's hardcore. Okay, I'll look into it in an official capacity. It's up to the police to make the beats go harder. The young man falls silent with appreciation. He even tries to contain his smile, as if it could hinder your investigation. Basically, what you need to find here is a tape with some banging music on it, so that Egghead could use it to remix Van Egg's jam. Yeah, maybe mm. that street talker across the pawn shop has got some tapes to sell. That's just an idea. Anyway, that's all yours to figure out, cop man. Van Eyck. Modern day Mad Lib. Cop man! 
Got it. See you later, JD. Okay. That music's slapping. Bussin for real, for real, on God, on God. Okay, let's see. Find a tape with a melody for Egghead. So, Pawn Shop? It's probably closed. It's already nine. Uh, let's go see if that freezer will open. If half an hour was enough time. Um, can I not fast travel? It won't. I can't fast travel. Guess we're going to start the long trek back on over to the... Uh, Back to the whirling in rags. Do we got any beat CDs, uh, Lieutenant Kim? Anything to take my mind off of the uh, the lull of the ocean? Yeah, everybody's inside. It's just it's night. Let's talk to you real quick. You're still out here. Okay, we won't talk to you because. I don't think anything else is going to pop up just because it's, you know, later. That's okay. We can go visit my uh, my turned out carriage. Look at that. Brilliant. You can see where I landed and immediately put it in the water. You think I, you think Harrier would be just a slight bit more... What's the term? Frugal with his driving. Conservative. Minding his biznatch. See if we can get in here. Do you have a tape? I know you had the boombox, right? Let's see. All the old. Okay. This is the figuring case. Of toy soldier. I don't. No, there's no, there's nothing in here. I had the one tape, you know, the one that I sang. Everybody thought it was great. Took a shot. Did some karaoke. Everyone loved it. You, do you have any beat tapes? Everything's still cool here, officer. Okay, uh, hey, quick question. Do you sell any tapes? Tapes? You mean like music tapes? No, music is out. Don't listen to music. I sell extremely cool sunglasses. If you want to get your mojo going. Okay, alright. So, you have no idea whatsoever where I could find tapes. Tapes? Tapes are everywhere. They're worthless. They throw them in the trees. There's one in the bushes right behind this lorry. No one would ever throw a good pair of high-quality plastic sunglasses in the bushes. You should have a look. It's better than nothing. So I figured. Bushes behind this lorry, so it's down here. The hawthorn tree. On Rue de Songe's lane, bronze-colored ribbons of magnetic tape are caught in its branches, fluttering in the breeze. Good, Hawthorne. Patting the tree reveals a small sticker which has almost been worn to oblivion. It reads, RCM Emergencies Desk, number 8102. Uh-uh. A slogan. Uh-uh. Be vigilant. The bronze ribbon twists around and within the branches in an intricately natural pattern. But there's something. What do I see? There's a twisted logic in this mess. You see the ends of the ribbon, the way it flows, how it twists and turns. It's all starting to make sense. It'll be easier to remove now. Okay, um, disentangle the tape with the 97% chance. With slow and deliberate motions, pulling, bending, and unraveling, you manage to extricate the magnetic tape from the branches. It curls up into a mess inside your pocket. If only you could find a way to re-spool it so that you could hear what's on the tape. Maybe Roy from the pawn shop. What's the tape for? It's for an egghead. Um, I promised to make his Van Ake jams hit a bit harder. Maybe this tape can help too. How? It's broken and unspooled. Do you think your new buddy knows how to fix it? I think at least one of the ravers would know how to fix a broken tape if they want to set up a nightclub. You could also get it fixed at the pawn shop across the street. I was just thinking that. No, 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 stop talking. I was just thinking that. 
Good idea. He might have the tools. The tape. Okay, why are you looking at me impatiently, bro? It is 9.13. There's not a lot else to do in the day. We're unwinding. We're taking some leisure time. We're strolling through. Also, thank you for letting me know about the, uh, the tape in the bush, dude. I like how they start off with me just trying to unfreeze a freezer, and now I'm on the quest to uh, Office, get some sick the jams. Flashlight, please. Oh, that's right. Yep, I forgot. He doesn't like the flashlight. Thank you. My bad. Hello, hello. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Hey, do you know how to fix this? You mean Reese Foley? Yeah, I do, but... Great. Could you do it, please? This is important. I need to be able to play this tape for someone. But I'm not some Mr. Fix-It. I'm a pawnbroker. If you want to pawn the tape... Just explain why you need this so much. He's bound to understand. Wait, but you take it with film tapes all the same. Isn't this the same? No, it's different. Those film tapes actually oh, well. mean something to me. I never. But this is just a worthless bundle of old tapes. Worthless? It's not worthless, Roy. This could be the next big thing for me in the local dance music scene. Huh? What do you mean? Do you know that old church down the coast? Yes. What about it? I met some young ravers near the place. They want to turn the church into a nightclub and play some weird neo-disco beats there. I promise. Or, excuse me. I promise to help them with that. Is it any good? The music, I mean. No, that's the thing. You can't believe how unbelievably thin the beat is. There's nothing to it. No bass. It just goes zzz, zzz, But this tape could make it hardcore. Man, you're really invested in this. Damn straight. Okay, I'll help you out. It's going to take a moment, though, so just sit back and relax. It's 917. It is now going to fast forward to... You take some time to look around the store. The play of visuals all around the pawn shop is mesmerizing. Suddenly, Roy turns back to you with a reel of tape in his hand and coughs. Sorry, the pawn shop is mesmerizing. You know. These visuals would look super cool in the church. Well, thanks for the help. Proceed to take the repaired tape. You know what? Hey, those visuals you've got here would look great in a church. Point at the lights in the pawn shop. Yeah, I bet they would. All those lights in a massive church hall. A sanctuary filled with hand-picked positive photons. There would be no room for sadness in such a place. It's a brilliant vision. But I rather like it here, too. So, yeah, I'm not giving you my projector. Oh. This tape is all I can do for you and your friend's nightclub project. Uh, well, thanks. Oh, no. Uh, 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 uh. This is funny. This is going to, like, I'm going to engage in an entertaining talk with this one. Uh, wait. This took more than just a few moments. That was at least 15 minutes. Yeah, it was. Respooling isn't that difficult. Although I had to mend the tape in a few places. Anyhow, it's yours. Okay, bye. See you yeah, later. My pleasure. I'll do what I can for true passion. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's my autosave. Thank you. Let's take a trip to the freezer before I uh, walk all the way back. Let's get my flashlight back out. It's dark as heck out here, me. Actually, I don't think I can play the tape. Nope. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. I cannot play the tape. And I'm okay with that. There it is. Got the flashlight ready to go. Get the blicky in case it gets sticky. What? We're not going to comment further on that. Oh, oh. Here we go. Come on, it's been well over half an hour. This orange machine is dead still. It has a hand crank ice cream churner and an electric freezer. The ice around it slowly melts in. Let's turn the ice cream crank again. Turning the crank feels cracking it open. Let's go. Twenty percent chance. Like stirring your childhood. Ice squeaks beneath your Kvalzun multi-tool, but your fingers slip away from the tool. 
the lid shut as tightly as before, and it's already unplugged. There's not much else to do other than wait for it to defrost or bulk up and get stronger. Bulk up and get stronger. Um, okay, fine. We'll wait. We'll wait. Chicken does not take that long to defrost. Your mom ever have you put on the stove? Doesn't take that long. Promise. See if I can fast travel. Okay, now I can travel again. Okay. Let's give them this tape. They deserve it. All right, Van Eyck. The large-headed youth has closed his eyes, lost in the music. Sensing you, he opens them. A little weird. Incremental progress. Yeah. I found this reel of tape. Maybe you can use it to hard up Egg's jam. Yeah. Remix time. Tape goes here into deck B. Here we go. Moment of truth. A hand on his ear. He listens to the audio through his headphones and shouts. Wow! Did you get this from Arno himself? No, I actually found it tangled up in a hawthorn tree. Listen, I'm just going to show it to you. Ready? Ready. Uh, uh, I don't know if it's copywritten, so I'm gonna talk over it. Talk over it. I like Dr. Pepper with cream soda. Soda. That's when I get into bipolar. Pola. Kanye West produced this track. He pulled it from an eight track. That's what he said. There you go. That's my sick uh, freestyle. You're welcome. Now, if only we had the beat for the full assault, it would be unbelievably hyper. Intriguing. The way I see it, Van Eyck based his remix on some famous original piece, like a folk song, something local. Seems he found an initial part with the main melody. Mm. I think it's just happenstance, chaos in action, contingencies of our limited existence. That and Egghead's fantastic talent. Noid's right. Egghead's t no. This is definitely part of the same song. Something cut from it. It fits too well. Maybe Arno Van Eyck lives around here and just threw part of his song away. What? Because he thought it was shit? Be how it may, if it nice. Fits, that scared me, actually. <laughs> I didn't like the way that just that the camera just panned back in on that. What about the bass? Do you have any ideas for that? Yeah, I remember. You said it needs more bass. I did. Hmm. Honestly, nothing springs in my mind right now, but I'll see if I can come up with a solution down the lane. Yo, the warrior! The warrior of dance! Don't be too hard on okay. yourself if you don't figure it out. I think the jam is already pretty ultra. But it could be hyper, hyper hardcore. Super ultra, no more hardcore. Sounds like Logic making 85, you know what I'm saying? Here we go. Arno von Eyck. Plus one interfacing. We're doing it. I need to unlock a new research slot. Frick. All endurance white checks unlocked. Learning cap for endurance raised to four. Okay. Cannot forget. Dang it. We're going to bed. I'm going to pick this up tomorrow. We'll let, uh... <sighs> we'll let Lieutenant Kim get some sleep. We'll, 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 we'll throw ourselves into day four. Right? I think we made a lot of progress here on the coast. So, I'm not utterly upset about the outcome. Still need that signature. Everett is probably not going to be happy because we're going to wait in two whole days to get this stupid signature. But, we're making some sick beats. And even if we don't solve this case, we got some sick beats going on. And I think that's more important. We already know Titus and the boys did it, right? Like, that's a given. We just can't... We just we don't know that they did it, you know? We can't definitively walk out and say they did it. Just kidding. It's actually the racist lorry driver. Just because I like blaming him for stuff. I don't even care if it's his fault or not. He's getting the blame. 
He's done nothing. Nothing to make me think that it wasn't him. And I can only think about how it was him. It's his fault. He did it. Alright, here we go. Hmm. Is anybody else in here I can talk to? No, 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 no. No, okay. Upstairs. We're going to bed. Yes? Okay, nothing. Settle down for the night. See you in the morning. Yeah, no, we're going to bed. Uh, 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 the bed uh, is still uh, uh, cold uh, uh. from the broken window. Yeah, I'm not well. too inviting, but it's yours. Too You've bad. Earned it. Damn straight, I did. All right, let's go to sleep. Up into day it's not four. Easy, but your bones are so tired from what feel like weeks of work on the case. You have to try. After what feels like hours, you feel you might be sleeping. Let's do it. Uh uh uh. Thoughts, baby. A million little lights in the dark. You're one fine instrument, brother. All those faces and all those names. All that laughter and screaming and scheming around. Every corner and every string mm -hmm. continue recorded in you forever on Faraday. Spinning, spinning, tell me, am I dreaming? No, you're spinning spin empty. On and on. Behold, yeah. wow, there are millions of them down there. The first time, the smoke in her mouth, the potted flowers, the faces turning, changing. What is it? It's the, it's the world, Harry boy, and you've and you're made it, and you are made of it. Sorry, I feel like my internal monologue should be me. Every day you're out there, you make more of yourself from it. I'm afraid now you can't be unmade now. Okay. You can never forget this shit. The rain, the snow. I don't want to. It's beautiful. Beautiful. It's stuck on loop, whirling, spitting out words and images. Mm, okay. You're the son of the world again. Harrister, a ceaseless agent, picking up litter in old newspapers, collecting your little bubblegum wrappers and idiotic picture postcards. Meaningless, meaningless keepsakes. Reading your awful letters and recalling things, aren't you? The endless names of the world. An address book you are. The map of a city. That's right. I am an agent of the world. You'll go insane if you keep going like this. One more day and you'll be in the loony bin. I just know you will. And for what, brother man? I'm going to continue. For the money, baby. For the money, bye-bye. For the greater good. Solving your little crossword puzzle. Doing your tasks, crossing names off lists. Forget politics, I'll never sleep if I keep on like this. Shut up, goobly gobbly brain. Are you sure you could be closing the door on a brilliant and special future for yourself? You're right, it's time to get political. I knew you couldn't resist. So now you're gonna change the world. But how? I knew you couldn't resist. So now you're going to change. That is that is what the brain just said. I'm just looking out for my economic self-interest. There he goes again. He's mm -hmm. a real political animal. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. I need he money. He still doesn't see that it's the world changing around him. I'm in the dead fucking center looking around. He's got no idea what he's in for. I'm going to feel the p pillow under my cheek. Beep, beep, beep. The alarm is ringing, Harry. The disco circus goes on and on. You barely slept three hours last night. Do it for the picture puzzle. Put it all together. Solve the world. One conversation at a time. Time to open my eyes.
7.30 in the morning, gotta be fresh, gotta go downstairs, gotta have my bowl, gotta have cereal. Hey, mouth. Indrat, the impeccable hustler provider of the seventh generation. It's showtime with Savvy. Endrach, the hustler provided the seventh generation? Yes, yeah, swindle father. Papa Pernier. Look, this is serious. No time for distractions. It's time to make money. Lots of it. Okay, uh, m money? That's right. It's time to stop muttering about your economic self-interest and actually do something about it. Yeah, I heard you back there. What the hell was that? Okay, okay. Um, superstar talk. Don't try to keep up with me in my vast dreams. Superstar talk? Oh, Good boy. One, hustler. Gotta keep the dream alive. <sighs> but it's not really showing up in your net worth yet, is it? And it's what? Day two, three, four? It's day four, if we're counting days since the event. Listen, if you really want to make it in the big leagues, you need to reconceptualize your entire portfolio. Collecting tear and moaning about taxes is not going to cut it. You need to become a millionaire. Now, how do you become a millionaire? Well, I could sell Kim's motor car like I sold the spinners. And then what? Join the ranks of blue collar criminals. Manana. Ma na na na, help me flip a coin. Dude, my brain is not reading things tonight. Ma na na na, ma na 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 na, flicked me a coin. One coin, the first of many. Imagine so many coins, you're going to need to hire someone to help you manage all your wealth. Does this giant check that Everett gave me help? Not unless you have thousands of them stuffed away in secret. Okay, I give up. I have no idea how to make millions. Of course you don't. You've never even been close to a sum with more than three zeros. Let's face it, you've been on a years long losing streak. But Savvy's got your back. Savvy's going to book you a charter flight with 80 birds of prey on board to a land where the streets are paved with Krugerrands and fixed income securities. You'll try again, but this time with money. You will win her back. Are you in? I've hustled, I've grinded, show me millions. That's a boy. Welcome to the final grind. Mm. Here, we operate with money on a much higher level than the ordinary citizen. We feed it back into the machine. Stop saving, start spending. Become a patron. Interesting. Okay, let's continue. Let's start by getting you into the lucrative art market to diversify your assets and increase your ROI. Gotta pause real quick. Hold up. Sorry, I had to pause. You know, sometimes life gets in the way. Are we speaking of visual art or something more conceptual? What about Speed Freaks and Nautic dance music? Music is a pet project, not a viable business scheme. Let's return to it once you've set up your estate. Artists? Artists. I'm an artist myself. Once we've brought in the millions, you can be a tree log for all I care. But first, we've got to work on increasing your net worth. Wait, so we're looking for a painting. Stop thinking of it that way. What is this? The turn of the century? The world's moved beyond paintings. You want something experimental. Intramuscular puppetry, hyperrealistic vapor porn, meditation opera. Dreaming of Californication. Don't listen to this fool. Kuno? Kuno's it's an not, artist. He's also 12. Shut up. We don't want to attract the attention of tax collectors by dabbling in unnecessary child labor. He does have potential. Defying authority. So I'm saying. Thinking outside the box. That child's a common delinquent not an artist he probably can't even hold a paintbrush cindy seems a type you're right she has the poise of a struggling artist very tangible you can feel the poverty on her plus she has paint that was the last choice i had go and support her 
like the state never could. Everyone must know that you're a big fucking shark around here. I'm becoming the Northeast. And with that being said, join me in the next one where uh, I get that stupid fucking freezer open. Until next time. There's a loud helicopter over my house. <laughs>